Hi, welcome back to Dental Basics. I'm Dr. Parvati Raghavan and in this video we are going to learn how to classify local anesthetics. There are quite a lot of different classifications of LA. One is based on the chemical structure of the drug used. Two, based on duration of action. Three, based on modes of application. 4. Based on the ability to react with specific receptor sites on the sodium channel. And 5. Based on their sites of action and active form of the compound. Based on the chemical structure, they are divided into esters and amines. Example of esters are cocaine, benzocaine, tetracaine, procaine, chloroprocaine. Example of amides are lidocaine, prilocaine, bupivacaine, articaine, procainamide. An easy trick to remember their difference is to remember that esters have one eye. Cocaine and benzocaine are esters of benzoic acid, while tetracaine, procaine and chloroprocaine are esters of para-aminobenzoic acid. I'll be giving a separate detailed video about the difference between esters and amides. In this video, you will find the single eyes of the esters highlighted for quick understanding. In the next classification, based on the duration of action, we have short acting, intermediate acting, and long acting. In this, we have procaine and chloroprocaine. Intermediate example are lignocaine and trilocaine, while tetracaine and bupivacaine are long-acting anesthetics. Pulpal or deep anesthesia is less than 30 minutes in short-acting LA, between 30 to 90 minutes in intermediate acting, and longer than 90 minutes when they are long-acting drugs. One important aspect to keep in mind here is that anesthesia will vary among patients and will last longer when adrenaline is added to LA. How adrenaline does this can be seen in my video on composition of LA. The third classification is based on modes of application. 1. Topical, 2. Infiltration and 3. Nerve block. Topical can be used as sprays and gels and are divided into soluble and insoluble. Example, lignocaine and tetracaine are soluble. Benzocaine is insoluble topical LA. Lignocaine, bupivacaine and procaine are used for infiltration to anesthetize terminal nerve endings. Again, we have the same lignocaine and bupivacaine but instead we have prilocaine here used as a nerve block to anesthetize main nerve trunk. Note that lignocaine can be used in all bit, that is block, infiltration and topical. Also when used for injection, it is a 2% solution and for topical, it is used in a higher concentration of 5% or 10%. In a nerve block, LA is given near the main nerve trunk. It anesthetizes teeth, soft tissues and heart tissues supplied by that particular nerve. In infiltration, terminal nerve endings are anesthetized. Example is an injection given in the mucobuccal fold at the apex of a tooth, anesthetizing pulp and soft tissues of one or two teeth. Another commonly used term is field block. It also anesthetizes terminal nerve endings. Here all terminal nerve branches coming from different nerves to a particular field or area of treatment are blocked. Infiltration is done around the nerves on the border of the surgical field, leaving the operative area undisturbed. This block is used example when operating in phrenectomy on the lips for mucosal. The advantage is that it lasts longer than local infiltration. It does not cause swelling in the surgical field or obscure local anatomy. This is the main nerve trunk which is big. 
there are these small terminal branches. Here nerve block is given and here infiltration and field block. Single nerve, group of nerves. Moving to the next classification. Based on the ability to react with specific receptor sites on the sodium channel. There are four different sites. One within the channel, two on the outer surface, three at the activation gate and four at the inactivation gate. Acting within the channels are the tertiary amine local anesthetics. Acting on the outer surface are the biotoxins, tetrodotoxin and saxitoxin. These are seen in puffer fish and these are seen in shellfish. Acting on activation gate or inactivation gate is the scorpion venom. Scorpion venom consists of a complex of several toxins and their toxic effects are mammal or insect specific. Acting on either the activation gate or inactivation gate producing numbness that is anesthesia. Based on the sites of action an active form of compound, chemical substances are divided into class A, class B, class C and class D. Both A and B act at the receptor site. In class A are the chemicals that act on the external surface of the nerve membrane, tetrodotoxin and saxitoxin. Class B chemicals act on the internal surface of the nerve membrane. These are the quaternary ammonium analogs of lidocaine. In quaternary, nitrogen atom is directly bonded to four carbon atoms, example is scorpion venom. Class C compounds produce effect on their own, independent of the receptors, by a physico-chemical reaction. Physico-chemical means physical and chemical action of the drug on the nerve. This class C exists only in an uncharged form, example benzocaine. Class D act by a combination of receptor and receptor independent mechanism. These are used clinically by us and exist in 90% charge form which is negative charge and 10% uncharged. Example are lidocaine and prilocaine. Before finishing, let us know a little bit about Another type of LA, quinolines. Quinolin is a compound found in foods such as alcoholic beverages, fig, cocoa, cocoa products, tea, etc. It has a double ring structure with one benzene and one pyridine ring. Chemical formula is C9H7N. Quinolin is used mainly for the manufacture of nicotinic acid which prevents pellagra. Another familiar drug is chloroquine which is also a quinolin-based drug used for prevention and treatment of malaria. Dibucane is a quinolin derivative amino amide with anesthetic activity. It binds to sodium channels and blocks them. Dibucane in hydrochloride form is used as a long-acting local anesthetic that is commonly used as a topical agent to relieve pain from minor skin cuts, insect bites, etc. Another interesting combination is EMLA. EMLA, that is eutectic mixture of local anesthetic, is an emulsion and a combination of 2.5% lidocaine and 2.5% prilocaine used for topical application. Eutectic means a mixture of substances in a fixed proportion that melts and freezes at a single temperature which is lower than that of each added substance. This EMLA cream or gel has a melting point below room temperature and therefore both the substances exist as a liquid oil rather than crystals. Oral application of EMLA, however, has the risk of methemoglobinemia, ulceration and gingival desquamation. This finishes our video. Thank you for watching and sharing and remember to press on the like button below and subscribe.